Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I look like a real race car driver today in my crash helmet, $5 sunglasses with a copy of F1 2012. Let's take the game for a spin and see how good it is using the unlockable El Camino. Out of my way, Benjamin Button. Living life backwards doesn't help you drive forwards. It's F1 2012. The sequel to F1 2011 and the prequel to F1 2013 or Fallout New Vegas, depending on how the next year turns out. Wow, F1 is competitive, and this year Codemasters gives us subtitles that tell us what the drivers are thinking. It's amazing how they programmed that, or maybe I dreamed it. Uh, either way, this game rocks because it's awesome on every level that it should be awesome. For starters, it looks and plays well. That's, that's always important with a video game, especially driving games. It's obviously very similar to F1 2011, except I think it runs smoother, at least on the PlayStation 3, which is the version we're watching here. Gorgeous visuals, lots of tracks, and a career mode allowing you to live the extravagant life of an F1 driver like Lord Carnage, whose first race of the season did not go as planned. Let's just say the original pit crew is missing. Just be careful when overtaking, otherwise we might get a penalty. Driving F1 ain't like driving Mario Kart, kids. There's no magic mushrooms in this game. Now, I could use flashback, but that's for pussies. It's that damn Benjamin Button again! In addition to the subtitles, another great feature in this game is the new F1 car, which many of you who follow the sport are probably aware of. The Chevrolet El Camino, which combines performance racing with the practicality of a pickup truck, as well as the magic powers of Harry Potter to look like an F1 car even though it's really an El Camino. Now you've got to unlock this. In order to unlock the El Camino in F1 2012, you have to know the secret code, which I'll tell you up, down, up, down, left, right, A, B, start, select, while standing on your head singing Rock Me Amadeus backwards. It's easier than it sounds. After a slow start and two missing pit crews, Lord Carnage finally got his career underway after changing the camera perspective to TV pod, which I found much easier to drive with. For most of this review, I'm actually using the PlaySeat and Logitech Driving Force GT racing wheel, which both work really well for F1 2012. Both of which helped to secure the first Lord Carnage Victory to the great relief of his new pit crew. Then there was that other race where he was disqualified for not taking a pit stop, but in all honesty, I, I forgot to look for where the pit stop was and just couldn't find it. It's not my fault. Anyway, some officials vanished after that incident. F1 2012 is a nice racing game because it's technically solid and they give you a lot of different things to do, a lot of races, championship mode, online multiplayer, and a lot of options to tailor the game to your skill level. And then there's the sound and visuals which put you in the race, and that's what this game is supposed to do. Speed limit, 250 miles an hour. Somebody forgot to put the zero on that sign. If you like driving games, but you're used to playing GT-style racing games or arcade racing games, F1 will give you a new challenge. It's faster, it's less forgiving, and Codemasters gives you numerous options to get you into the game, like driving assists and an easier opponent difficulty level. Now, veterans will want to do away with all of that, of course. It makes the game a lot harder and more rewarding. There's also a co-op mode so that you and a friend can race through a season together on the same team and have all of the petty squabbles that real race car drivers have, like stealing each other's mistresses, crashing their yacht, or murdering their cloned pet lion named Misty Farschnickel. Everybody says that Americans can't turn right. I'm about to prove you wrong. 
safely using my turn signal. I am turning right and accelerating madly. Like playing the game, I'm having so much fun making this review, I just can't stop. I'll see you back here in part two of the F1 2012 review. Try doing this in F1 2011. It rolls all the way down. There was the FedEx racing team. <laughs>